Yes, guys, hope everyone's well, hope everyone's good. We're going to take a little look at Lido as per request. It's actually a favored asset of mine as well to trade and track and analyze. Forms really nice structure and it respects the levels really well. And since we've been bullish, it's provided some really nice opportunities. We're currently printing really strong and really bullish. But what I want to just show you guys is we're in a very interesting area right now for Lido where you need to be cautious. And I'm going to explain why. Look at these. So here we are. I'm going to just show you a little case study here. So we have example one. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's a two, but it's supposed to be a one. So we have example one. We'll call that example one. And we have example two. This candlestick here that you can see was once a very bullish candlestick looking very promising for the upside. Exactly the same as this one. This one's a better, a, bit, a bit better example. So at one point, this candlestick was fully blue and it was showing extreme promise to come in and probably test higher regions and higher prices. But what happened was we failed, we wicked lower and then we, and then we reverse and begun to trade lower. Even here, we sent price down to the lows. So what you need to bear in mind is, and this is why I always say you guys need to wait for daily candlestick closures and weekly candlestick closures. Since where is the horror, the vertical line since the 19th of April, 2023, we have failed to trade above this region with any significance. We've tried to, but we failed. We tried to here, we failed. We tried to here, 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 we failed. We couldn't even close strong above on the daily candlestick. Right now, today, we are trading above it with significance. If we can close above this region, with conviction with this daily candlestick and we can validate our support with failures to close below. So it's almost like we've shifted now. So now we, we failed to close above it, but we, now we have, and then we want to fail to close below it. That means the probable outcome for the market to move higher and come and test 2.8, for example, is higher than it would be if it was to move lower. On the flip side, if the market, if the, this daily candlestick fails to close above, like we've seen happen repeatedly, what happens when this, when this market fails to close above it on the daily candlestick? We reverse and we go lower. So that's scenario two. We wouldn't trade that. We wouldn't trade that reversal. But what we could do is we could just be patient and wait for the market to come into lower prices of interest before looking for long setups. Why wouldn't we trade the reversal? Well, because this market is clearly, once we've broken out of you know, this bearish trend line. Let me just paint on for you guys. Once we broke out this bearish trend line, we came and retested it. And now we've been printing, you know, a bullish trend. This is now why we look for long setups and we don't try and reverse the market. We don't try and count a really trend trade unless there's huge, huge, huge exhaustion like we've seen on Rune and, and mechanics and, and other an analytical factors align. And there's a very clear setup, which has a lot of compliments to back it up. But right now that would, if you were to, to, to short from here to here, that would just show a lack of impatience, a lack of patience, sorry, and, and greed and, and fear of missing out. What you'd want to do is you'd want to just wait for the market to come down and retest this region. So what we're going to see is we're going to have to wait and see if this daily candlestick closes above, like we're seeing now, and it trades above it, and then we see this level hold a support. This would be a really nice area to potentially look for some opportunities from if and when this area validates it as support and we and we close strong above. If not, if we don't see a strong closure above, or we may even close, oh, where did that come from? We may even, um, we may even close strong above it, but then immediately reclaim it almost as, as, as resistance, then close, um, and then continue to trade lower. If that's the case, we just wait and we be patient and wait for price to come down into this area of interest where we could potentially look for some further setups. But yeah, we just need to wait and see what I'm trying to get across is, and what I'm trying to show us of, of, of importance is don't now chase this candlestick and look at it as an area to start buying and buying and buying and buying from. Because what you've seen multiple times in price is the market has been, so this candlestick you see now would have been identical to this one. But what happened? We've seen a reversal and we, and we had begun to trade low and we've seen it time and time again. And also even of recent times, we've even failed. We've pushed higher on this recent candlestick here as well. So until we really break above that, you know, right now we're still looking for the market. You know, we're not really of any significance to push higher from a trader's perspective. We want to see that clear consolidated pattern here before any further upside, because we haven't even broken above this this high, which which seen a rejection from. So that's how to play Lido. Just be patient. Um, but it is at a very key area. So I've got to got to show you guys that. Wait for the closure. So just a little recap, wait for the closure scenario one. If we can, if we can consolidate, validate this level of support, look for some opportunities to the upside. If not, and we, and we begin to trade lower, 
consolidate, same thing, same scenario. Don't be trying to chase the market down. Don't try and chase the market up until the signs are there. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and that's it. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.